Hi, and welcome to our demo for data virtuality pipes together with Oracle ADW. First, I want to ask you a question. As a data analyst, where do you start with your analytics project? Of course, you start by centralizing the data from different data sources in your Oracle ADW. Data virtuality pipes has an easy to use interface to quickly get you started. I already logged into DV pipes, so we can see how to configure pipes in three simple steps. First one, set up storage for your data. Second one, add your favorite data sources. And the third one, create pipes to integrate the data. So let us start by setting the storage for our data. As you can see, a variety of data sources are available. Let us choose Oracle ADW as a destination. Let me quickly enter the credentials. I entered my connection details and located my wallet. This is all I have to do in order to add Oracle ADW as a target storage for my replication. Let us click on connect. We now finished with our first step and want to go on to the next step to add a data source. In order to do that, I'm clicking the plus button. A great number of data sources is available, both cloud SaaS sources as well as database sources. Let's quickly take a look at the list. For our demo, I would like to show you how easy it is to get data from Redshift into Oracle ADW. So let's connect Redshift. Let me quickly enter the credentials. That's all I need to enter for the Redshift connection. In the advanced options, I go for SSL encryption and click on connect to finish the connection wizard. The Redshift data is now available for easy replication into Oracle ADW. Let me go back to the dashboard to take the third step and that's to create a pipe to integrate the data. I will choose my data source Redshift and then I will locate the table that I want to replicate. In this case, Let's replicate the Add Performance table. I can take a look at the preview of the data that will be replicated. This is what it looks like in Redshift and also what it will look like in Oracle ADW eventually. There are some load options to take a look at here. If I don't select incremental, the full table will be loaded every time. But let us go for incremental this time. The value in the criteria field of the source table will be compared to the latest value we have in Oracle ADW to decide if we should take the row over or not. Let me choose date here. As this will indicate my new data. The field ID is optional. And if we set it, this field will decide if we append the row or replace the existing row with the same ID. Finally, I can choose a title for my pipe. This will also be the name of the target table in Oracle ADW. Let's keep it as it is. It's called Redshift Add Performance as a pipe and also as the target table. And let's go to the next step. After deciding what data we want to load, let us now decide when to load the data. We have some easy to use schedule templates down here. Choosing the first one means that the replication of the data will take place every hour. So this will be the schedule for the pipe we are creating. There are some others available, like for example, every four hours or only once a day or some, on some days of the week. Let's still keep the every hour schedule and click on next to finish the pipe creation. It's of course possible to create as many pipes as you like, for example also to load Salesforce data. After creating the pipe, I want to review the execution status. I will mark the according pipe and take a look at the details. So we can see here that the pipe has successfully loaded a minute ago and the whole process took a minute.
Let us finally review the table that we've been replicating in Oracle SQL Developer. So let's uh, go to Oracle SQL Developer. And let's take a look at this table, uh, Redshift at Performance. If I'm just uh, marking it, we can see already the uh, columns in here. And uh, we can also take a look at the data that's there that has been incrementally replicated. So let me summarize what we did in our DV Pipes demo. First, we set Oracle ADW as a storage for our data. Then we connected Redshift as a data source. And finally, we created a pipe to incrementally integrate the data into Oracle ADW on a recurring schedule. Let's also summarize the capabilities of data virtuality pipes. You have an intuitive visual cloud-based integration, support for integration of a variety of data sources, and can finally move terabytes of data into ADW. Harness the performance and sophistication of Oracle Database for your data analysis, all with the simplicity of fully managed autonomous data warehouse cloud service.